Well, we got uh, BBS going on down here for uh, Calhoun County. We uh, just feel like uh, it's something God's called us to do, and we got kids down here that uh, come to our church, but we got other kids that need to hear the gospel and adults. Uh, so today we're doing BBS uh, from 9 to 11. Uh, we're doing music with them, we're doing crafts with them, we're doing games. Uh, but most of all, we're speaking the word, the Bible to them, teaching them truth uh, and having a fun time doing it. And hopefully we can connect with the kids, which lets us connect with their parents and get them here of a night, six o'clock to uh, worship service. We're going to have worship service all three nights too. And we're just celebrating Jesus. Uh, we want uh, the whole county to know that Jesus is real, he's alive, and he's the one that can save our souls. Well, this louder than that. What were they shouting? Hosanna! Okay, all right. And so what else was they doing, putting on the ground? Clothes, 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 and branches. Palm branches, branches that's yes. right. And so that was a sign that, of a king. But Jesus rode in on the donkey to show that he was humble, that he was coming. And remember what we did here with this and with this? What did we talk about here? Remember that about lenses? And what's the thing about lenses? What does it do to objects? Listen, it, it, it changes it. Yeah, closer, farther. farther. It makes it look different. In the same way, the people thought that Jesus was going to do one thing, be an earthly king, but instead he was going to die on the cross for us. And that's not what they thought he was going to do. They thought he was going to be an earthly king, but he is the king of kings, but he did it differently. He did it how God wanted him to. Remember what we talked about sometimes when people tell you something that's different? This is what you always trust. What's this right here? Bible. Bible. If the Bible says it, it's true. The Bible will never lie. It tells the truth. It tells us about God and His love, and it tells us the truth. So if somebody tells you something and the Bible says different, this is what you go with, the Bible right here. I'm from First Baptist Church in Pleasant Hill, and we're doing crafts here today uh, for the kids. And we have put, uh, glued together clothespins in the shape of a cross and this is going to show the kids with we have some red uh, um, card paper here that is uh, showing the sin that we have uh, from Adam and Eve uh, up till now and uh, when they decide to take Jesus into their heart uh, we are going to have them glue the cross onto our sin and uh, show how Jesus died on this cross to save us uh, and, and take all our sin away so that we can go with him to heaven. Hey, this is day two, uh, Friday morning, and we've already got things kicked off today. Uh, we had 18 kids yesterday and we up to 25 kids today, so we're excited about that. We're hoping for even more numbers tomorrow. Uh, most of the kids came back and then we've got a few okay. new ones here and uh, today they're learning about Jesus dying on the cross and Jesus raising from the dead and those are the two greatest events in all of history so uh, the kids are learning about that today uh, it's a little overcast so we're kind of glad for that because it was so hot yesterday uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a scorcher so we're not looking forward to that but we know that this is what God's called us to do uh, we're hoping for a great worship time tonight. Uh, looking forward to maybe a whole bunch more people coming out. Our worship team was just spot on last night, and Doug shared a word that really spoke to a lot of hearts. So uh, just a wonderful day here serving the Lord in Calhoun County here at the fairgrounds, and uh, love being on mission for Jesus. Well, we're here uh, in Hardin. Uh, I'm, I'm Doug Payne with uh, Hangar Church. We have uh, eight of us that came up to be a part of this outreach, working with uh, First Baptist Church of Pleasant Hill. Um, I can remember a few years back driving down to this area and actually riding around in this uh, fair, uh, fairgrounds here and praying for what God's will would be for this community and for what the responsibility the church would have to fulfill that need. So we prayed here over this place and uh, it seems really awesome thing to be here now and uh, seeing it come to pass. We're uh, reaching out to this community and trying to bring the, the gospel of Jesus Christ to each and everyone here. Uh, we're, this morning we had our children here for our VBS for the second day. 
Uh, last night we had our first night of open air crusade. I, I spoke there and uh, I spoke about the need to, to, to have a real relationship with Christ and what that means to be truly saved. And uh, so we're excited about what's going to happen the rest of the week. We're excited for our children that are going to be coming in the mornings and uh, for everyone that will be here at night. So be in prayer for us. In Jesus' name we ask all this. Amen. Yesterday was the first day of Vacation Bible School, and we had 18 kids with 7 boys and 11 girls. Today we grew to 23 kids, and we had 9 boys and 14 girls. So we are... We are growing each day and the girls are leading in the competition. Hey y'all, my name is Rebecca McLemore and I'm from Hanger Church in Philahatchee, Mississippi. Um, yesterday uh, I started the lesson off with JT and Maddie and we talked about Jesus coming into town and how he rode in on a donkey and uh, the crowd welcomed him shouting Hosanna. Um, we learned that he was coming there uh, to prepare the people for, uh, for him to to give his to sacrifice his self for for us and our sins and the kids had a really great time we we drew some murals we made some plates with faces on them and uh i think they had a really great time we're really enjoying ourselves here hey guys we are i'm jt and this is madison and we have been excited this week we've had a lot of fun just talking about uh Jesus' arrival into Jerusalem. Then yesterday we got to talk about uh, Jesus dying on the cross and we got to talk about uh, him dying for our sins and then rising up again for the third day. We have had an awesome time playing different games and learning different lessons and uh, it has just been an awesome time and uh, and Maddie's going to tell us what we're tell you what we're going to be doing today. So today we are going to be learning about Jesus going up into heaven after his resurrection. And tonight we will all be getting together to show the kids. Um, they'll be able to do their dances that they've learned. And maybe they'll be able to quote their scripture verse. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But um, we got a whole bunch of fun games planned today. And it's going to be a great afternoon. Hi, um, we're having today BBS. We had it three days in a row. This is our last day. Um, this is our third day, and it's called Spark Studios. Um, and we're having a lot of fun here. We, um, there's games, there's frisbee. Um, we're having a lot of fun. And, and there's um, dancing and singing. And singing. We sing a song, a theme song called Spark Studios, and we memorized it, and it's really fun to dance to and sing to. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, Mr. Spark, Mr. Spark is, um, he's telling the story and he, um, we're having lots of fun hearing him and also there's this Bible study that we have here as well and that's fun. We're learning about Jesus um, died on the cross for our sins and he loved us very much. And Mr. Sparks does like fun experience and stuff about the Bible and stuff. So. <laughs> Having really lots of fun here. So I hope you guys will like it too. Fill it up. Who filled the can goes out? You know what? That's going to be nice oh, yeah. and cool. And I'm going to be refreshed, and you're all going to be out there hot. Now we got to do it on the count of three. Are you going to put a <laughs> you know, no? You don't want to hustle down there. What? Explain why. Okay. Oh yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Why did I get to do this? Okay. So the boys and girls had a contest who could get the most kids here, and the total for the week, the boys had 20, or yeah, 22. And the girls had 36. So the girls won. So that meant Dan, Dan's team won. So Tim's team lost. And he gets the pie in his face. So on the count of three, we're going to get the pie. Ready? Yeah. Which way One, is he in there? Two, three. <laughs> I got it. I brought some. I got it. I'm good. Lick it off. Hey, that tastes pretty good. Okay, 
So I think we're ready to wind it down. I'm just saying how much. Uh, yes, yeah, he's taking a picture of No, we're no, you're gonna do a right video interview. Oh, oh, an interview. Yeah, I'm interview. Sorry. All right. Yes. One, Even if you two, didn't, I'd do it. Two, three, three, four, four, five. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>